Okay, well, well, hope you're having a great day today. Today we're going to work on a tutorial for text. So in here we can go to all categories, have all categories selected. I'm going to go to all skill levels. And I believe it is right here, add text. And we're going to go to create and edit text right here. That's what we want. It has a big... It looks like a big red rock and it has a letter R on it that you can see right here from the thumbnail. Click on that. And we're going to start the tutorial. So I'm going to move some of these things around so that we can see things better for this. And I am going to place that. So the first thing we're going to do, it says right over here, it says select the horizontal type tool. If this tool is already selected, click another tool and then click back to the horizontal type tool. So right here is a letter T. So we're going to click on that. And up here now, we got the horizontal type tool selected. Up here it says click the arrow to the right of the font size menu and choose 48 points to set the font size and then click next to continue. So right here, there's a little arrow next to this T and then it has a font of 48. So you probably do not have 48 selected. So you wanna come down to 48, click that. And then we're gonna click next right here. Now we're going to uh, click the color option in the color picker that opens, go to the large color field on the left and pick a shade of white. Then click OK, click Next to continue. I like to go to the brightest white. So when I click on that, here's the color picker. And you can see as you're picking here, it's uh, choosing different colors. So for to get to the whitest, for me personally, it says any white, but I want the corner. That's that's as white as it can be. That's that's six F's right there, I believe. And that's the whitest white. So we can click OK. And then we're going to click Next. Now it says click in the center of the image to add default text. Don't click in the text. Move the cursor away and type the word hike instead. Then click the check mark in the options bar above. The image click next to continue so I'm going to take this text it's horizontal text I'm going to click right in the middle here go go like that and now I'm going to I'm not going to click this text I'm just going to move the cursor away the pointer the mouse and I'm going to type in all caps hike h i k e okay now it says to click this little check mark right there. So I'm going to click on that. And the next thing I need to do is click next. Notice a new edible type layer named hike is automatically added to the layers panel and is selected. Click next to continue. So we see another layer and that's our text layer and it's named whatever we put in there and that we wrote hike and notice it's all uppercase. So now we can click next to continue. Lines of text are known as point type. Point type is useful when you need a small amount of text, like the name of the movie featured in this poster. Now drag diagonal to make a text box at the bottom of the photo. Move the pointer away from the default text. Type a paragraph describing this movie. Click the check mark in the options bar above. Click next to continue. So I'm going to drag a box across here like this. I'm going to let go. And now I'm going to stop, start writing a bunch of text to describe the movie. So. I'm just going to talk about this movie that I have not seen. And maybe you've seen it, maybe not. I don't know. Hike is an incredible 
display of courage. Uh, let's see, you can't see it because that blue box is over it, but I'm just going to keep talking about it. people when meeting more grit need to go to a higher source. So we need each other to be encouraged. We can't always be our own island of power. Well, I misspelled that. <laughs> Again, I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know. Um, let's show truth and mercy when we are hiking all around us in this life. I don't know. We can always be our own island of power. Let's show truth and mercy when we are hiking all around us in this life. There you go. That's a description. I don't think that's the movie, but if you have a better description, that's great. Now, I'm going to click on this little check mark right there, and then I'm going to click next. Now, Ike is an, is an, oh, I need to t fix that typo. Incredible display of courage. People when needing more grit need to go to, go to, go, need to go to a higher source. We also need each other to be encouraged. We can't always be our own island power. Let's show truth and mercy when we are hiking all around us in this life. So a couple of typos, but right here it says choose window properties, windows, and then we're going to go to properties. Okay, scroll down to the character section right here. We're going to see the character section right there. Uh, and find leading the icon with two A's. Okay, right there. If it's not set to auto, it is set to auto right here. But if it's not set to auto, open the leading menu and choose auto. Leading is the vertical space between lines of text. Click next to continue. Okay, so it's already selected. We have auto, so let's go to next. Vertical space there. Scroll down to the paragraph section. That's right here. And of the properties panel and click the center text icon. That's already clicked right there, center text. Second icon from left. To center align the paragraph text, Click next to continue. So we want this one for this illustration that we're doing to be um, center aligned. So we got that. Click next to continue. Notice that another editable type layer named with your movie description was automatically added to the layers panel and is selected. Click next to continue. So right here we see the descriptions text layer. Now click the movie description text to show the text box handles. Drag a handle to make the box bigger. The text wraps and re reflows within the box. Check, click the check mark in the options bar above. Click next to continue. So right here, you can, I think what you need to do is actually, maybe right here, click on this one. So that's what you want. You want the move tool right there, okay? When you have the move tool selected and you have show transform controls, then when you move this box, it's going to make the text bigger or smaller, okay? 
So if I want it really big, I can go like this. If I want it a lot smaller, I can go like this. So I'm going to go something like this. I think right there is good. Now I can click the little check mark and I can click next. Now select layer hike. That's that's selected. There, hike right there. It says click the arrow to the right of the font family. and choose any font you like. So here we see, let's put it in text here, right? So when I have it on text and I have this layer selected, I can change the font to whatever I want and I can see that changing. Ooh, I like that. Where was it? I think Brad Lehan looks kind of cool. Let's try that. And then choose any font you like. So we chose that one. I like that one. You can change it to whatever you like. You can click next. Click the size. So let's see. Do I want that? I think a, a bigger size would be even better. See how that went bigger? And if I want to, I could change that too. Oh, type 300. That's even better. 300. And if it goes too big, that's okay. I can always change it. There you go. Look at that. That looks fantastic. Click next to continue. With the type tool still selected, double click directly on the word hike to highlight it. And type Rome, click the check mark in the options bar above to finish editing the text, click next to continue. So watch, I can click, double click like that and I can change it to Rome. And then I can come up here to this check mark and kind of does that there and now I can select the move tool and it says click directly on the word Rome drag it to the horizontal center of the image pink smart guides appear to help you align it click next to continue so I'm I'm, I'm trying to put it right in the middle right here so look I can go like this and there's the middle okay and if I want to make it bigger or smaller I can I can kind of go on this like little thing right there and I want to make it right in the middle there so there and I think I'm just going to keep on making it fit the rock so to speak because that white helps it to be so I'm going to keep on making it so that is kind of in the rock better that white just getting it middle there there but I think that's also there that looks good okay let's click the check mark right there and then click next Select the, it says select the type layer that contains your movie description. Click next to continue. So now I'm going to click this one. It says click directly on the movie description and drag it to the horizontal center of the image so all the text is aligned in center. So we can go like this. There we go. There we go. That looks good. That looks better. Then I can click next to continue and there you go that's how you do that and so do uh something similar you know you can do your own font if you want but that's how you use the text tool in photoshop pretty awesome don't forget to save your work here up here in file if it's for me you're going to save a copy and save on your computer I would put it in your downloads. That's a good place to kind of find. If you have some other organization, that's fine. But I'm going to change this to JPEG. I'm going to very carefully click on the title here and not mess with the .jpg. That's going to mess the extension up. I don't want to erase that. And I'm just going to call it what the name of the 
assignment is. I'm going to go save. And six is good. Okay, so now it's saved. There you go. That's editing with text, okay?